objectives. Securing A. Alpha secure. This is another one of those weird games where I started off really good and then the entire middle portion of the game I could not do anything. <laughs> I was making terrible decisions. The lag spikes were real, believe me. And uh, getting my face torn off by snipers and I actually thought we were going to lose because we were kind of getting our butts kicked. And uh, I was a little distracted as well because I was stockpiling my predators this game. Uh, this was one of those games where I don't really go for clips. But I, I, I am putting together my next boomstick montage. Uh, I, I think Sandy just said he's putting together his next boss text. And uh, I promise I've been, I've, been, I've been planning on this for a while. I've just been lazy with saving my clips. Uh, but I'm sure Sandy's will be ten times better than mine. You just you can't beat the Duke quotes. You know, hail to the king, baby. I mean, you just can't. It, they're so much fun to watch. I wasn't even around YouTube when Sandy was doing his earlier montages. But I've obviously gone back and watched them. And they're some of my favorite videos on YouTube. They're just so much fun. So I was playing a little weird in this game. I was saving my Predators to take out some AC-130s. But uh, this whole morning session that I had, it was all chopper gunners. And that's just not... Taking out a chopper gunner isn't the same as taking out an AC-130. But anyway, so hopefully I'll have that, that boomstick montage. The boomstick destruction. Hopefully I'll have that up soon. Uh, I have all the clips. I just... I keep forgetting to edit them all together. But uh, I figured I would take this opportunity because this is a little bit longer of a gameplay, even though I cut out a lot of the middle section because, trust me, it is really boring to watch. I'm just making terrible plays and the lag and all that good stuff. But uh, it, was a, it was a fun game to play. It was really uh, down to the wire. But I figured I would talk about Advanced Warfare because it is insane how many of you want to know my opinions and my thoughts on Advanced Warfare. I, I don't know why that is, especially since I don't really take it that serious. I, I don't really have any opinions on it because, I mean, I haven't played it yet, so I can't really have that specific of opinions anyway. But also, I just, I don't really care because the game is only $60 to me. Like, I just, I don't take it as serious as some people do. Like, it's 60 bucks to me. I spend more on a two-hour night out with the wife or with the family and this will, you know, I'll probably, even if the game was terrible, I'd probably still put about 24 hours into it, plus the campaign. So that's, that's you know, $2 an hour. That's that's more than worth it for me. I mean, even the campaign alone is worth the 60 bucks to me. But uh, I guess a lot of you probably have similar styles to me, considering you watch me here on the old YouTubes. So maybe that's why you, you know, you want my opinion on these games. And, and again... I haven't looked at any of the perks. I know Thunder uploaded a perks video. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but because it's 20 minutes long, <laughs> and me finding a spare 20 minutes lately seems to be pretty rough, but I know he did a video on the perks. I have not had a chance to watch it, so I don't know what any of the perks are. I don't know what any of the weapons are. I know there's one pump-action shotgun that I saw in one of the, uh, the multiplayer teasers or whatever. Uh, other than that, I really don't know much about this game, but I will talk about some of the things that I do know that I have heard and give my opinions on them. Things that would be more important to me uh, in the game. And the first one is the exo, the non-exosuit playlist. I kind of mentioned this in a video before. I don't know how I feel the fact that they they built this game around exosuits in the future play style, futuristic play style. But giving us a playlist specifically going against that, I don't know. I, maybe they're just saying, well, we're trying to make everybody happy, but. Really, at the end of the day, they need to just make a game and just hope that the majority enjoy it because they can't make everybody happy. So I don't know how I, I feel about this because, you know, it could it could split up the player base. Uh, it could, you know, if, the, if people really don't like the exosuits, it could be a more popular playlist than their main playlist. I don't know. There's definitely a few things that could go wrong with this idea. But again, you know, maybe they're just, maybe they're trying to listen to feedback, but I I think if you're your main focal point of a game and you make a playlist without that, I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely want your guys' opinions on that. But uh, I think one of my biggest concerns so far is probably the footsteps. There's no Dead Silence or Ninja in this game. And I guess they said they did this on purpose because they'd like to try something new. I don't know what that new is. But apparently they want to uh, 
have the footsteps in there. And they said if it doesn't work out, they're actually going to bring back uh, a stealth perk or, you know, dead silence or whatever. I think that's what I read. I hope that's what I read. But one of my biggest gripes ever in Call of Duty is when they uh, took Sitrep Pro in Modern Warfare 3 and made it cancel out Ninja. A perk should never not have a counter, and Sitrep Pro no longer had a counter. Really, the only counter was to, to not move, was to either crouch walk or just not move. It really promoted slower movement, and it really slowed that game down. It, that's absolutely as much crap that was in that game. That, that change to that perk is what finally did that game in for me, and I really never played it again, especially in, like, free-for-all and search and destroy. And I just... I'm afraid that's what's going to happen with this game. If the footsteps are as loud as what they sound, I feel like people just aren't going to move. Now, maybe there's a lot of background noise and you can't hear other people's footsteps. You can just hear your own footsteps really loud. I can't stand hearing my own footsteps. That's one of the biggest reasons I use Ninja is so I can not hear my own footsteps. But it's also because, you know, I don't want other people to hear my footsteps because it feels like, and it, we kind of saw this in Ghosts as well, when, when the footsteps are really loud and you have a... A perk that amplifies them it just promotes non-movement for most and if the footsteps are as loud as what they've sounded in gameplays that I've watched at least your own footsteps I'm, I'm just worried about the movement and the pace of the game but again maybe the exosuits and being able to move so freely will keep the pace going or maybe you only hear your own footsteps you don't hear other people's footsteps so I'm not saying that this is going to be a bad thing I'm just it's got my it's a little bit of a concern for me for what little concerns I I allow myself to have um, another one of the things that uh, everybody seems to be freaking out about is is quick scoping how are you guys still surprised that quick scoping is in Call of Duty they're not going to take that out that is such a huge portion of their gaming community now one of their selling points that you can run around with a sniper rifle and do those kind of things they're not going to take that out I finally accepted that I accepted that a long time ago I don't like snipers I, I, I just think they don't fit very well in Call of Duty but they're one of those things that you can adjust to. It's not like people being able to hear your footsteps all the way across the map and really you can't do anything about it. You can flank them with shotguns. You can go long range with an AR. You can hope that they miss their first shot and you can take them out. I mean, there's ways to counter the snipers. So the sniping doesn't really bother me all that much. That's one of the reasons why I love the, the boost slam idea. I feel like if you get up in the air and you see a sniper, you can boost back down to the ground. I think that's a, a great feature, but those are probably the biggest things that I've been thinking about. Like I said, I don't really care about weapons. I don't really care about perks for the most part. I just want a game that moves at a decent pace, and that's really all I'm looking for. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these uh, couple of points that I hit on. And as always, thanks for watching. Later.